Hey, this is Mako, and we're gonna go back into Evara. Now, I've actually formed my build, and figured some more tricks out on her. In truth, melee is not her specialty, so I would not suggest it as such, but the Karatas, the Karata or the Nankandi are pretty much the two I stick to. Those are the two, but if you don't have the ability to grab those, the Ripkas, these, anything that could multi-hit and lunge you forward, pretty much gives you the benefit of speedy stealth running. Why? Because while invisible, doing anything will jump-wise, slide-wise, will break your invisibility. But doing melee lunges does not. The Furious here is your lifeline. If you are broken out of invisibility, you use this to get your HP back. The Rock Cassandros is your damage, and it buffs your Artemis bow as such. Now remember, you must be Mastery Rank 12 to get this bow. Minimum. If you would like to form yours, I would suggest swapping that out for D and put the hammer shot. That's probably my next stage on this build. Let's go into the actual build. I formed her by putting a V polarity and oh boy did I find some fun stuff on this. By having a negative duration you actually bring out the best of her damage. While in navigator, prowl, what do I mean by that? Uh, let's go take a look at her power. As you can see, it definitely buffs it up. And you can definitely tell while in this stealth mode, using Navigator or Artemis Bow, you're pretty much destructive. There wasn't really anything negative to Quiver other than maybe a little bit less duration, and even then, it was so insignificant I barely noticed it in use. Now, the Simulacron here doesn't show it, but when I'm actually killing these enemies, every two enemy at 70 makes your Rotka Senros blast normally in real game, so take that as you will. In reality, the Rotka Senros is giving you about a thousand, you know, viral damage and a whole bunch of energy back. Also, Carrier Prime with Ivara is highly recommended as it picks up ammo and weapons in a very long range. So, go invisible, shoot them with your bow, you don't even have to hit them in the head, you can basically, what was that, two shot them? With a two mil plus shot? And if I single headshot it, pretty much one kill, so I mean, you can even just quick these, you know, quickly tear apart 70s, just with your bow. Now note the headshot damage is pretty much one shot. I don't like the Tonkor. I know a lot of people were very, oh, we can use the Tonkor, and yeah, let's use OP explosive weapons and stealth. You can actually make it hush, you know, to 100%, so you can try that. I'm going to use a bow with the bow person, just makes more sense in my book. Man, I would have killed these guys so much quicker if I grabbed that Nikondi. Remember, just headshot them, pretty much instant killed. And overall, it's a pretty OP, you know, setup. Now let's do a little bit of navigation. One shot. Two. I just took out three people there. See the damage multiplier buffed it up by 1.8 each time. So 1.8 times each kill. And it's already buffed up by, what, 10%? I remember right something like that don't remember the stats offhand and with Artemis bow I'm pretty much just one-shotting any enemies now you notice hopping or bullet jumping will make you visible again just notice that that's why I state use melee lunges to you know get around use rip line wall run those will not break you at invisibility but slides or bullet jump will so Thank you for watching. I hope this has, you know, further helped you in your Avara builds.